So let's create an application uh, where we have some login form. Um, so I call it login.py and might just use a graphical editor. Um, so type import tk enter. It will create our window. The window should have some title, um, login and some size so let's put it by 200-200 then we'll want to have some um, message that says um, username and of course there should be a box uh, to type that Call it uh, input. Uh, put a more clear names in there. It's better. Uh, input user is an entry. So there's a text box, and we'll want a button. course we have to add all of these to the to the window and finally we have to run the loop to actually show the window uh, so let's run this and it made a typo somewhere run our window and we have our simple login form so pressing the button doesn't actually do anything and it's a bit too long um, and we're also missing a password field so let's add a password field as well of all the objects and here we're adding them to the window um, so we run it uh, we have a username and a password uh, in the field and the window is a bit too long so it should be about half uh, let's make it 120 so there we have our uh, login form uh, that we just designed with TK Enter. Um, and uh, pressing the button doesn't do anything yet. So as you see, nothing happens. Uh, we have to define a so called callback. Uh, so once the button is pressed, uh, something should happen. So we can link this uh, the button to a new function. Let's call the function login. Uh, login callback. So that function is only called if the button is pressed. And let's just define the function right here. So as we run this type a username and a password and the function is called you see the login um, appearing there um, so the one thing you want to do is actually have the values uh, of the entry boxes so we want to have the username and password to do the verification right Then uh, we can say that uh, we want to have um, 
the input uh, user text and yeah, so add some attributes to that um, so we, we have to add this and this it's the default way to do it in uh, TK enter so the first part uh, one means the input is read from line one and the last part means it's read until the end um, and we'll have to do the same thing for the password say that it doesn't know end um, perhaps we can do this not too sure but here we go um, and we'll want to, to print the username and password just to verify that we have them uh, in the variables so One, two, three, and see that we get an error on there. Um, so I'm just reading that. We can have this instead. So let's give it a try. Actually, this was for a text area. Maybe we can simply get away with a get um, function call. Yeah, so now we've got the username and password. And uh, you want to do verification then, so. Um, if. Uh, Username is correct and the password is correct. Then you actually have locked in. Otherwise, uh, get some error. A very basic example: if we run this and we specify the wrong name and password, you see that. Uh, got an error but if we spe specify the right password uh, we have success so there you go simple button callback and application